President Arfan Ali's desire to appoint Clifton Haken as Commissioner of Police has hit a snag with his government now faced with legal questions as to whether this can be done. Given that the acting police chief has already passed the age of retirement, Haken's tenure as the acting head of the force was extended by President Ali although he has crossed the age limit of 55. Vice President Barad Jagdiu was asked whether President Ali can go beyond this by now appointing him substantively and he said that the Attorney General, Anil Nanlaw, has been instructed to check out the legal ramifications. Speaking at his Freedom House press conference, Jagdiu said, I have listened to the Attorney General and I spoke with him in Parliament and I told him that he needs to get more information out about the legality of the process. So first of all, I saw in the comments he made, he dealt with the powers vested in the President. And there is a view that because Haken has an extension now, he might not be eligible to be confirmed. So that issue needs to be dealt with by the Attorney General, Jagdeo said. Jagdeo said the compliance referred to is the consultation with the leader of the opposition, Aubrey Norton, whereby he does not have to agree with the President, but in keeping with the Constitution, consultations must be held between the two, which was done in the form of letters. Questioning the reason for the big noise and person saying that to appoint Hicken is unlawful, while he of himself is of the opinion that it is not. He has asked the Act to get the necessary information to ensure that the appointment will not be unlawful because people may be questioning the lawfulness of it, not whether the President has the power to appoint but whether we have complied with the process. He assured me that we have complied with the process to get the extension done and also the process to have the confirmation also done. Meanwhile, in a letter to the editor, retired assistant police commission, Clinton Conway said to appoint Hicken as the police commission after he would have passed the age of retirement would be unconstitutional. Conway noted that the appointment of a commissioner of police and deputy commissioner of police is enshrined in the constitution of the Cooperative Republic of Diana. Article 211 one of the Constitution states, The Commissioner of Police and every Deputy Commissioner of Police shall be appointed by the President acting after meaningful consultation with the Leader of the Opposition and Chairperson of the Police Service Commission after the Chairperson has consulted with other members of the Commission.